Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy sandbox out of 4x4s. So to start out, I bought six 8 foot long 4x4s. I wanted to make the sandbox 4 feet square, so this will work out without having a whole lot of waste. So of course a lot of the boards weren't 8 feet exactly, they'd be 8 feet and 1 inch or 8 feet and a half inch or something like that. So what I did is I would cut the first board off at 48 inches exactly and then see what the second board was and cut off the extra inch or half inch. So then I was left with 12 48 inch 4x4s and I could stack them up 3 rows high. The next thing I did was find a good spot for the sandbox and lay out the bottom row. This is just to give you an idea where you need to make your outline to dig out the grass. So I used the shovel and went around the outer edge and marked where I would need to dig out. Then I moved that bottom row out of the way and started to dig out the area. This will allow me to get the sandbox sitting on a much more level surface. Now you can not just set a sandbox right on the grass if you have a good flat spot. But my yard's kind of a hill so I wanted to dig it out so I could get it level. So I just used a level to check it and then just tried to dig away at the high spots until I could get it as level as possible. Then I decided to put about a bag and a half of sand down under everything as a base layer. This is mainly just for around the outer edge to sit under the bottom row to help me get it level. I'm going to attach these boards together with five and a half inch lag screws. The first thing I'm going to do is use a spade bit that's bigger around than the head of the screws and the socket I'm going to use to drive them in to make a hole to countersink the screws into the wood. Then I'll use a regular drill bit to make a pilot hole. So I put that bottom row together on my patio where I knew it was level just to make it easier. Then I moved it over to my spot I had dug out and tried to get it level on the ground. I added more sand to the low spots and hammered down the high spots with a rubber mallet. So now it's time for the second row. For this corner we're going to slide this board down to overlap that seam and do that same thing all the way around and that's going to make our corner stronger. For the second and third rows I attached the screws through the top but using the same method. Making a countersink hole with a spade bit. Drilling a pilot hole with the regular drill bit. And then driving in the lag screw with the socket on an impact driver. Then I put some landscape fabric down in the bottom of the sandbox. I stapled it all around at the bottom and then cut off the excess. This will allow rainwater to drain through your sandbox but keep dirt and weeds out of your sand. Before attaching the top row I went ahead and gave the top and the corners a good sanding with an orbital sander. Hopefully this will limit any splinters in little one's fingers. Then I went ahead and attached the top row the same as the second. Now as far as the lid goes if you want to keep the cats and the debris out of your sandbox there's a lot of ways you can go. I just made a really simple lid out of quarter inch plywood and framed it out with 1x2's. I just bought two 8 foot 1x2's and cut them in half. But the nice thing about the size of this sandbox is if you really want to you can buy plywood in 4 foot square pieces if you don't want to have to cut it. But I bought an 8 foot piece and cut it down just so I would have some extra. Then I put a couple handles on the frame to help my girls slide it off. That was my main goal was just to keep the cats out but to keep it light so my girls can slide it off. And here's my just turned 5 year old sliding it off with no problem. I'll probably put some exterior paint on this eventually and maybe even drill some holes in it to help rainwater drain so it doesn't pull up and warp it too fast. But you could just do something as simple as a tarp if you really wanted to. And if you have any good ideas for a lid, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. But here's the best part, letting the little ones see it for the first time and getting dirty. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, hit that like button and give me a subscribe. It would really help my channel. Thanks for watching.